All right. Another day of wrenching, eh? So what are we going to do today? What I might do is just uh, swap out the steering servo to the Savox. So I was about to um, fit up this servo and I thought, oh, I had an idea. This was ages ago. I had an idea of extending the battery box because the, the standard batteries for these lossy platforms um, are a little bit a little bit smaller than your, your standard one. This is your standard one, let's say, because I got them for the um, the Traxxas and all that. It's Traxxas Slash. Um, and yeah, they they don't quite fit. They're just a little bit out. So I thought, you know what? For a long time, I thought, I'm not going to buy another battery. I'm just going to extend it. And that's all it needs. It's just that little bit of extension there. So... As you can clearly see, and I think uh, when, I think it was a Kevin Talbot, when he bought one of these, I think he bought one of these, and about his batteries wouldn't fit, and he did the same thing, I'm like, that's what I was going to do. But because I bought a battery to fit in the first place, I never did it, but now I've got a second one, I'm not buying another battery, no way. Especially when I, when I got these, you know. So it's pretty simple, all you got to do is just chop out a little bit at the end of the box, a little bit at the end of the lid, add a little bracket, I did it from the inside so that nothing hits the battery, slide the battery in, like that, and done, push these down. A little bit more difficult with one hand. Okay, yeah. And that's it. Put your clips in. Done deal. How's that? Because I did speak to a mate about this, about doing this a while back. And he goes, oh yeah, but you're going to get dust in there and it's no good for the electrics. Well, when you look at the, um, the 10 scale, they've got no battery boxes. None of these have battery boxes, and dust goes all over the place, all over the electrics, even the ESC. So I thought, nah, I'm doing it. Initially, all I was going to do is just um, strap the battery to the top, but that might look a bit dodgy, you know. So, no, I went one, one, one step further. Easy. Nice. So I'll fit up these servos. And on to the next step. Alright, so this looks nice and pretty, yeah? Well, there's a bit of, there's a fair bit of uh, play, you can see. A fair bit of play in those pads, right? So I thought I'll, I'll just tighten them up a little bit. And that's what happened. It snapped. Not too impressed. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that out, but I've got to pull this thing apart again. Let's see if I can change these bolts out. Obviously, they're, they're weak. All right. I have finished it. Took me a while. Found some things, found some issues. Fixed them, made it right. It's come up pretty good. So it's just a matter of um, starting her up now. A bit of alloy, got a good servo. This one's not too bad. I got my lipo in there. Uh, this is a spare one. Got a. Um, Turtle Racing pull start with a steel cable, so that's why I like them. And there we have it. Alright. I'll see if she starts and runs now, eh?
impressed. I think this is why people buy brand new stuff, eh? I did buy this off a friend. I don't know if he knew about it. But the, the spring on this thing is no good. That centerpiece in the spring is meant to go in around that plastic piece. And that's why... I don't know if he knew about it, but... Yeah. There's this little, um, this little piece here. It's meant to go through this hole. And because of this center piece, there's no chance of it going through the hole. Try to squash it a bit. But you can't. You just can't compress it. It's all... It's all stretched. Mm, yeah. What do you do, eh? What do you do? So I was about to start this little thing. I was about to start too. But anyway. Because even with maybe this much cord left, I try to just start it off that. And I was about to start, but just not enough. Damn it. So I've contacted him. He's, I think he's going to organise another one for me. And I thought, oh, maybe I should just put another pull start in there. But jeez, what a hassle! I just put all this in there. So I think this will have to be put aside now. Can't play with it today. All right, I'll keep you updated.